Hi, welcome to the Alabama Perk video blog. I'm your host, Sherry Wilson, and today my extra special guest is Gail Satchel, the Director of Federal Programs for Colbert County. Is it Colbert? I keep saying Colbert because I watched the Colbert report. It's Colbert? It's Colbert. Okay, Colbert. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for having me today. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. And um, so Colbert County is near the top of the state over in the northwest side of Alabama, right? That is correct. And um, we're located in Tuscumbia, which is home of Helen Keller. And uh, she's our claim to fame um, here. And we are also um, host the Music uh, Hall of Fame, Alabama Music Hall of Fame. It's right up the street from us. Fantastic. So tell me a little bit about Colbert County Schools. We have eight schools. We have five that are Title I schools. And those are our elementary schools. And then we have three high schools. And, and then the reason that I'm up here today is because you asked me to come up and talk with the administrators, and sadly because of weather, it's very windy, you can tell by your hair, um, because of weather that got canceled today. But tomorrow is going to be the best part because we'll be training teams of parents from every school, right? Exactly. We're going to have our CIP teams, and they're called Continuous Improvement uh, Plan teams. And we have community uh, stakeholders, we have uh, parents, we have administrators, and we have um, teachers that are uh, on our teams. And uh, we're here to train them and empower them to um, invite our community and our parents into our school. I just think it's fascinating that um, your county is so committed to this that they're bringing in all of the CIP teams. Um, a lot of the other districts we've done this with, they've either sent parents or they sent teachers or they sent principals, but not very often have we seen all of those groups coming together. And I appreciate the compliment. We do try to be proactive as opposed to being reactive. And we thought that uh, we needed to hear the information from the source. And therefore, we asked our principals to uh, make a sacrifice and invite everyone on our team. And it also helps that you're serving pizza. <laughs> <laughs> so we're excited pizza. about that. <laughs> and, um, and also, research shows that parental involvement can be uh, such a tremendous uh, input for all of the schools. And so we want to go with best practices. That is fantastic. And again, I applaud you for your commitment in bringing everyone together. Um, so what have been some of the challenges that you guys have faced um, when trying to engage families in what their students were doing? I guess the most challenging thing has been working parents. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very tough for them to um, take off um, for uh, three or four hours to come and hear um, different seminars, uh, workshops, and things of that sort. And then also, once they are off, you know, they want to feed the family. Mm -hmm. And with federal dollars, we just do not have the funds uh, or the right to feed families. And so we get into that. And then also transportation. We are a rural county. And our schools are located quite a ways apart. And so in order to get back to school, outside of the buses can be a challenge for us. Right, right. Transportation is a huge issue in lots of rural districts. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. there's no real public transportation, so if, if families have one vehicle and somebody has to drive it to work, nobody else can come to the you training. You got it. You understand yeah. our pain. Although we do try to maximize our opportunities by using the internet, getting flyers out, getting newsletters out, and also our superintendent, Mr. Billy Hudson, is very conscious in getting messages out through our phone system, uh, the crisis communication system, and our principals also do that. Now, I couldn't help but notice when I walked up to the Board of Ed today um, that you had several signs out front that said October is Parent Visitation Yay, Month. Tell me a little bit about that. Us. <laughs> that is awesome. We have spent lots and lots of time and energy in trying to promote October as our uh, family involvement uh, month. And uh, we put on a calendar every October of all the activities that are sponsored by our schools, and um, including in our drug-free uh, week, which was just last week. And we want our parents to come out. Every school hosts a parent luncheon, a grandparent luncheon. So we have uh, all of our stakeholders actually on campus. I'll brag a little on our um, one of our smallest schools, this New Bethel Elementary. They have an enrollment just under 190, but they had over 200 community members coming Yay. for a meal on this today. That so, is fantastic. Uh, so we do get really involved in uh, October becomes a really busy month, not just for the principals, but also for our child nutrition program because mm -hmm. we want them to feel as though they are partners in their child's education. 
Mm -hmm. That is fantastic. I can't uh, compliment you enough on that. And having such a great turnout at a small school speaks very, very highly of not just the commitment of the families, but the commitment of the staff at the school to get the families out there. You got it. We are very, very pleased. And, um, we have grandparents coming. Oh, we've just been awesome. <laughs> and, and I'm smiling because we've had um, muffins for mom, donuts for dad. So we've been gaining weight in the month of October. <laughs> but it has no been sacrifice is too great for parent involvement. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, so we have just uh, we have thoroughly enjoyed ourselves this month, and, and each month and each year we uh, try to become even more creative and try different things. But it's always an exciting time to invite the community into our homes, if you will, the schools. That is amazing. So if parents or community members or other districts who are interested in uh, doing some of the fantastic behaviors that you're modeling want more information about your schools, where can they go? Well, they can go to our website. We're on there on the federal programs and. Uh, parent resources. Also, they can call the office 256-386-8565. And what's your website address? www.colbert.k12.al.us. And of course, I'm Gail Satchel. Fantastic. Thank you so much for being on the video You're blog welcome. today. I'm excited. Thank you. <laughs> and if you want more information about the Alabama Perk, you can always go to www.alabamaparentcenter.com. Thank you.